Okay, here we are in part two of this particular sample problem. Uh, to refresh our memory, we are trying to find the thicknesses of oil which will cause total reflection of this particular uh, wavelength of light. Um, and what we've discovered is that if the thickness of the film is one half of the wavelength of light in the oil, then we'll get total transmission. And if the length the thickness of the film is one quarter the wavelength of light, then we get total reflection. And it's total reflection we want, so L equals one quarter lambda prime is what we want. Now, here is the problem we're going to be dealing with. Um, the wavelength of light for, ultra, for this particular laser is 337 nanometers in air, but as it goes through oil, it turns out that the wavelength is actually going to become smaller because the light is moving more slowly. Uh, and the important thing here is that the frequency of um, light in air is going to equal the frequency of the light in the oil, but the wavelength gets changed because the light has slowed down as it's entered the oil. So remembering that the speed of light in a medium is the speed of light in vacuum over the index of refraction, we can find that the wavelength of light in the oil is going to equal the original wavelength divided by the index of refraction. Um, I'll let you sit down and work that out, uh, but let's use that. Let's remember that the thickness of our oil has to be one quarter of the new wavelength. So that means that the thickness of the oil has to be one quarter the old wavelength divided by m. Uh, let's try now. This is what we get. This is going to be the thinnest film possible to totally reflect the ultraviolet light. Um, remember, if the thickness was half of a wavelength, we got total transmission. So that means the next thinnest, let's call this one L1 and call this L2, is going to be three quarters of a wavelength. The And then if we keep going, it turns out the next one that's possible is going to be five-fourths the wavelength. And of course, we sh begin to see a pattern, and we find out that the allowed thicknesses, or the thicknesses that are going to cause trans, sorry, reflection, is going to be an integer divided by 4 times lambda over n, where m is going to equal an odd integer. So let's see what the thinnest film possible is. If we set m equal to 1, we get 1 quarter lambda over n, which plugging in our numbers is going to be 1 quarter of 330, let's make sure I get this number right, 337 nanometers, divided by the index refraction of the oil, not the glass, which is 1.55. And if we plug this into a calculator, we get 337 divided by 4 divided by 1.55 is going to equal 54, let's do this to 3 sig figs, 54.3 nanometers. Um, now, it turns out that the engineering of the problem is that we, can, we can't apply any film less than 30 nanometers thick. Hmm. So if I play with m equal to 3 and 5, it turns out it's still too thin, but by the time you get to m equal 7, 
we end up finding that at that particular reflection frequency, which is a thickness, a film thickness of 380 nanometers, we get reflection and our applicator is capable of doing that. So therefore, the thickness we want is 380 nanometers. Okay, cool. Hope that works. Um, I'll see you in the next sample problem.